Hello again, you lovely people. Welcome to Rose Rates. Today, I will be doing another Pinterest favorite. It's, I've seen it online and it intrigued me because part of me thinks, how would this work? I'm not sure that it will. And another part of me went, oh my God, that's really cool. We need to try it. So what it is, is you get some jelly. Uh, it says it says online to use two raspberry ones, but I'm gonna try and make it two tone. I could mess it up by doing this, but I'll give it a go. Actually, should I? Hmm. If I change my mind, I have two big ones anyway. But I thought I could make it two tone, but I'm not sure whether that's gonna work or not. So. So what you do is you get two packets of jelly, packet of gelatin, and lots of straws. Look how many straws there are. So the idea is you get the straws, you put them in a cup, and you put an elastic band around them. You make your jelly, you put your gelatin in, you pour it in the straws, you let it set, and then you have jelly worms. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get them out the straw. Not sure. If it works, we'll have some delicious jelly treats. That will be great. If it doesn't work, it's gonna be messy. Sorry if you have like a phobia of worms, because you probably could think of nothing more terrifying than eating worms. But on this occasion, we're going to. Yay! So if you wanna see if this works, carry on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you think it's gonna work. Hey everyone and welcome to my kitchen. This is my station for today. Okay. So, start off with it says just to make the jelly. How do you make jelly? I need to boil some water. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh god, it smells so good. Bam! Bam! It says to add half a pint of water, boiling water, a glass that tells me exactly half a pint. But I've got two in here, so I am gonna go with a pint. Oh, hold on. Will boiling water smash glass? Okay, guys, so I checked out because. I have a feeling that glass smashes when it gets hot. So I measured out exactly what a pint is and it works out to exactly one of these. So I'm gonna put the boiling water in one of these plastic cups. That's safe and safety is important. Adult supervision. I don't even know if I trust myself to do this. Ah, oh, it's hot. Get a tea towel up in here. Tea towels are light. Ready, dunk! Oh. Time to get mixing. Okay. I would happily say that that's a fully mixed. So now it says to add one pack of the gelatin. I've put the gelatin in and it is now fully dissolved. I've stirred it for ages. I stirred it for probably about 10 minutes. And now it says to let this cool for a little bit and to get your straws out and to, um, so they're the flexi straws and it says to pull them open um, so that you get that bit 
you know, in the worm where it's, yeah, yeah. Tie them all together quite tightly. So I don't have an elastic band, but I'm going to use a hairband. I've got hundreds of them. I really don't care if they get jelly on them. I'll just throw them away. And it says to keep the straws as flat as possible. So this is what I'm left with. Okay. Right. Just pour the jelly mixture into the tops of the straws. Okay. Okay, so it is just going through the straw and coming out the bottom. <sighs> I'm confused. Maybe I should try it with less straws. I'm going to try it with less straws. Let's have another go. Okay, so I've taken some straws out. Um, it seems to fit better like at the bottom of the cup. Like it seems to be the same width as the bottom of the cup now. So it does seem a little bit more wobbly. Let's give it another go. So it's about four hours after we've put it in the fridge now. So I'm just going to get it out of the fridge and we're going to try and get them out of the straw somehow. So online it says that you can just like squeeze the end and they pop out or you can put it under hot water and then they sort of slither up. So we'll try just squeezing them out first and then if that doesn't work then we'll try under water. <laughs> That looks interesting. How am I gonna get this out? is what the first one turned out like but it's just disintegrating it's more like a, like a strawberry bogey okay, let's just squeeze this out <laughs> filled with jelly. They all look jelly filled. I just ran them under warm water and they melted <laughs> and just poured straight out. So now we have some clean straws. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so looking at the glass, it was in the fridge and the one, the jelly that's closest to the glass edge is actually quite thick. What I might do is put it back in the fridge and leave it overnight. I'm going to put it back in the fridge and then we'll see in the morning. This is a day two. Uh, I left these overnight. They feel heavier than they, the, than they did last night. Jelly seems to be on the outside a lot more <laughs> worm like. Oh dear. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 
Oh, it's making it. Oh, gosh. Okay. Come on. Do you know what? I read online, actually, I did a bit of research yesterday, that you can, like, squeeze them out with, um, a rolling pin. Et voila. So apparently you can just, like, roll them out. Don't know if it's going to work. Or we're just squashing them. Which, pretty sure that just did. It kind of, I don't know if you can see it, it kind of goes, oh, 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 we got a mini worm. Mini worm, mini worm. Hi, hello, fella. Hello, fella. Let's put you on the plate. Him. Well, they're not as perfect as I wanted them to be, but still, like, holding, oh, okay, I keep breaking them, but I just want one perfect one. Come on. I'm squeezing it from this end. Uh, uh. Oh my god, it's coming out! It's coming out! It's so sunny. Hold on a second. Okay, so it kind of did work. Yeah. And they are kind of slimy, like a real, like a real. Ooh. Ooh. This is quite fun, actually. Ooh. 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 Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh. Let's have another go on the rolling pin. Because the squeezing method works, but. Oh, hold on. Can you guys see this? Let's move you a bit closer. Can you see it? Right. <laughs> I don't know. Is this working? Goodness. I hope the camera's focusing on this. Ooh, look, it's a worm. There's another one that's worked. I think this is working, you know? Okay, let's get squeezing. squeeze it with my hand for the rest of it. Okay, it actually comes out better. <laughs> it comes out better with the rolling pin. But look, another wormy. This works. I can't believe it works. I'm really impressed. Look at the worm. Look at the wormy. Okay, so this does actually work. And I can imagine that if you had the patience all the time that I don't have to do them all that they would actually look pretty decent all in like a bowl I'm, I'm actually quite sh shocked that this that this did work because of yesterday I didn't think it was going to now I know some people um, use veggie gelatin which you can use um, because obviously these are edible I wonder what they taste like should we have a taste test so a taste test of one of these 
So let's taste test this little bit here. Mmm, that tastes really good. <laughs> yep. But that, that's pretty tasty. I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> We're in a new environment. with them I mean they do what they say on the tin they look like little worms they taste delicious the only concern I have is that they take a blooming long time to make and a blooming long time to squeeze them out <laughs> who has this much time on their hands I mean I didn't use the milky creamy thing because I just didn't feel that it was necessary I don't like the the kind of creamy jelly stuff anyway I think it tastes disgusting uh, personally so I just thought well I'll just try it without it and see if it works and it does and I can imagine that if you did probably use the milk that they would set even further and that they'll be a little bit more easier to get out but they were still fairly easy to get out they were just a bit time-consuming I think overall I would give this one one thumbs up I wouldn't give it two thumbs up because it, like I said it was time-consuming but it worked and I mean I, I, I did a pretty r rubbish job but I still did it so if I can do it anyone can. So I've got everything ready for next week's Pinterest and that is um, a bit more easier, a bit more practical, less um, food based I'm not very good at food based stuff. It should be quite fun this one because it's literally everything's done for you you just have to assemble it and it works kind of like when we did the glow sticks you just get the glow sticks and you just get that and you cut some bits out and it voila it's kind of the same as this one so hopefully this one will work a bit better um so if you want to see next week's one don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you've made any of these as well and show me your pictures and see if they look as rubbish as mine <laughs> Hopefully they look better than mine. We'll see you next week if you subscribe and um, I look forward to it. See you later guys.